Chunghata Lake, a fresh water lake in South Bengaluru near JP Nagar, is being systematically encroached. The lake, which measured 21 acres, 31 guntas, according to the RTC records last week, shows it had lost two valuable acres of land. The real estate mafia has systematically brought in truck loads of debris and encroached the lake. The BDA, under whose jurisdiction the lake falls, was so exasperated that they even filed a complaint with the Subramanyapura police station authorities. Some concerned citizens have taken it up before the authorities and a complaint has been made before the BMTF as well. The land prices here were over at about rupees 7,000 per square feet. And at that price, the land encroached is about 30 crore rupees. Well, this is the Chunchigatta Lake. Chunchigatta Lake is in JP Nagar in southern Bengaluru. This is the Chunchigatta Lake. This is in the Chunchigatta village, survey number 70. Now, this is a lake whose extent has been fixed at about 21 acres and 31 guntas. Now, this is the actual lake. Most of it is dry. Now, what you see in the background is the very small amount of water that is there in the lake. But for this, most of the lake, it is a parched lake. Now, if you look at the entire uh, area of the lake, most of it is filled with some kind of debris, garbage. You can see a lot of plastic material that has been dumped in the lake. Now, the RTC that, that was taken last week shows that the lake, that the extent of the lake, uh, is, is about 21 acres and 31 guntas. But if you look at the actual lake, now there are encroachments all along the lake. Now how do encroachments happen? Encroachments happen because they fill in earth on one side and just encroach it. Now this lake is supposed to be encroached on the southern side according to the details that we have. Now the Bengaluru Development Authority that looked into this has lodged a complaint with the Subramanya Pra police authorities. There's also a complaint with the Bengaluru Metropolitan Task Force, BMTF. Now, they have uh, lodged a complaint. They have taken up a complaint. Now, the complaint simply uh, states that a portion of the lake, to, a, to an extent of about two acres, the land value of about 30 crores in today's market value, or even up to 40 crores is encroached. Now, what are the authorities doing about it? So far, nothing really, because this encroachment has been recorded, uh, has been even the details of which a complaint has been made, but the authorities so far not taking any action. Will they take any action remains to be seen. With camera person Bajarangi, this is Bansi for News 9. Residents have time and again complained of the deteriorating state of the city's roads, but the authorities have only managed to come up with temporary fixtures, if any. This time, as a result of BWSSB and BMRCS apathy, the residents of Sri Rampura face a gaping hole in one of the busiest roads in the city. This is a sorry straight of Kuvempu Road in Sri Rampura. A large portion of the road is completely caved in, leaving a huge hole bang in the middle of the road. BWSSB was fixing a broken pipeline in this area, but the work was moving at a snail's pace. Some have even stated that BMRCL's number metro construction of the Sri Rampura metro station hindered work. The residents and commuters were forced to put up with the filth and stench as a result of the drainage seeping onto the road. It has been well over a month since this has been the case, and when BWSSB arrived at the spot this morning, little did they expect something like this to happen. Were the officials just incapable of foreseeing this incident or did they choose to ignore it? Either way, their apparent negligence has left a lot of commuters frustrated. When asked about it, here is what the residents had to say. Now, I completely wasted the day. I completely wasted the day. I completely wasted the day. 
ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಂದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಎರಡು ದಿನ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೂರು ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಓಡಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನೀರು ಹರಿದು ಹೊರದವ್ರದ್ದು ಜನಲ್ಲು ನೀವೇನು ಈ ಥರ ಈ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇದ್ದರೆ ನೀವು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ನಿಮ್ಗೇನು ಅನ್ಸಲ್ವಾ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಬಂದು ಬಂದು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಆದರೂ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಆದರೂ ನಾವು ಯಾಕೆ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ಏನು ಮಾಡೋದು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ತನ್ನಿಕ್ಕೆ ತಗೊಂಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ನಾಲ್ಕೈದು ತಿಂಗಳಿಂದ ತುಂಬ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಸನೆ ಬೇರೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಾಗಿಲಲ್ಲಿ ನೀರು ತೊ ಬಾಗಿಲು ತೆಗೆದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬ ವಾಸನೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಓಡಾಡೋದಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಗಾಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿದ್ದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ಕುಸಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅವರು ಮೇಲಧಿಕಾರಿ ಬಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಚುನಾವಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರು ಬಂದು ಭರವಸೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಇವಾಗ ಚುನಾವಣೆ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಯಾರು ಈ ಕಡೆ ತಿರುಗಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ Kuvampu Road is named after a writer who some would say revolutionized poetry in Kannada but one wonders how seeping drainage and broken pipelines is anywhere close to honoring a person who is often termed as the greatest poet of the 20th century what remains to be seen is will the water board respond to this gaping problem Maltesh News 9 Bengaluru Well, as expected and reported yesterday, KSRTC has revised the fares. The new rates are going to be effective from midnight today. Transport Minister Ramalinga Reddy has kept his word. Yesterday at a press meet, the Transport Minister had not only defended the hike in PMTC fares, but also gave hints about revising KSRTC bus fares. And today, he has gone ahead and implemented the fare hike. True to his word, The hike has been affected and the new rates are to be implemented from midnight. The hike in urban areas would be 7.96% and 7.66% in rural bus services. Surprisingly and ironically rather, the hike is confined to ordinary and express service buses only. Fares of Volvo, Benz, Multiaxle and Raja Hamsa remain unchanged. Following is the list of previous and revised rates from Bengaluru city to a few prominent destinations in Karnataka. The fare between Bengaluru and Mysore has gone up to rupees 132 from 120 rupees. Bengalurians have to shell out 25 rupees extra to reach their destination from Bengaluru. Hubli fare from Bengaluru would be 385 rupees instead of the previous 356 rupees. Fare for Gulbarga from the capital would be 592 rupees from tonight and there is an increase of 20 rupees to Shimoga from Namma city. And lastly Bengaluru to Belagavi will cost 474 rupees instead of 439. KSRTC has claimed that revising the rates had become inevitable in the wake of losses incurred by the corporation. It is learned that there is an additional burden of 207 crore rupees on the corporation every year. But the commuters have opposed the move. The rates of luxury buses were revised in the month of March last year, hence the corporation has not attempted to hike them again. The official that said that the rates of luxury buses would be stipulated on par with private luxury buses. Pavitra for News 9, Bengaluru. In the wake of the recent twin blasts at Chennai railway station on Thursday, the CBC idea of Chennai has camped in Bengaluru for the last two days. They are combing through hours of CCTV footage from the cameras installed at the city railway stations. Meanwhile, the security measures at city railway station have been beefed up. Railway police in plain clothes are guarding station round the clock. But shortage of RPF staff is posing problems in implementing all precautionary measures. It was being reported that a Bengaluru police team too has left for Chennai to conduct an investigation. They are trying to look for similarities between the Chennai blasts and the blasts that had taken place in Bengaluru previously. In the wake of the recent twin blasts at Chennai railway station on Thursday, the CBCID of Chennai has camped in Bengaluru for the last two days. They are combing through hours of CCTV footage from the cameras installed at the city railway stations. A wailing leave seems to be a child's play for Chief Accounts Officer of BBMP as contractors continue to complain about his non-availability in the office. Today, he was found to be on leave again. The Chief Accounts Officer of BBMP seems to be of a different breed altogether and BBMP contractors will vouch for this. According to them, he is never seen at his office. The staff in his office has a ready answer for the visitors paying a request to his chamber. Sir is on leave. 
Only last week, about a hundred contractors finally found him in the office. They blocked his office and did not let him go home from 2 in the afternoon to 10 p.m. He was let go only after his wife and children came to office and requested the contractors to send him home. But from that day on, he has been absconding again. This has left already agitated contractors in quandary. They allege that even his subordinates in accounts department are not cooperative and behave indifferently. On the other hand, the commissioner too has heard several complaints about Rosby's dereliction. He is said to have received numerous written complaints against him. Hence, he too had written a letter to the government about transferring him back to his parent department. It is learned that Rosby has got the wind of this development and has stayed away from his office. In all probability, he is going to be transferred once the election code of conduct is withdrawn. As we is concerned, there are serious complaints about him and we have written to government to repatriate his services. Right now he is on leave, he is not attending office. Uh, we have taken action already and uh, I am sure that government would issue orders shortly to transfer him back to his parent department and we will make alternate arrangements to manage the work of uh, Chief Accounts Officer. Well, the Chief Accounts Officer has now been given the nickname of Chief Leave Availing Officer in BBMP. The contractors are frustrated by his constant absence. They are definitely looking for change of guard in the accounts department at the earliest. Pramod for News 9, Bengaluru.